For TraderInsight.com, I'm Adrian Manns, and it's time for your daily dose of the doctor. Let's take a look at how to place some orders with Realtick. And the other day, I did conditional orders, so you ought to see those and how those are implemented. And today, before I do the other leg of conditional orders, I'm going to look at OCO orders. That's because a lot of you like to just automate these things, set them and forget them. OCO orders are going to give you that opportunity. So I've already placed the order as a conditional order to get me into the trade. So if you need to review that, take a look at what we talked about the other day. We see this is right from the trading plan. We had big lots at $42.72, and my conditional order got me in at $42.71.8. So right at that entry price, that's fantastic. Now, how do you get out of that trade if it goes in your favor? How do you get out of it if it goes against you? And how do you set this up so that you can walk away from the machine and not have to be tied to it all day long? This is the order form that you want to use right here. So this is an OCO order. All you have to do is click on this little box right here, order form options, go to system order forms, and then click on OCO. That's going to give you access to this form. And then what you do is just put in the quantity that uh, you were filled for on your way into the trade. So say you had a conditional order set up and now you uh, you want to go ahead and use the, the quantity. In this case, I had a 500 share order of big lots. And you put in your stop loss, which on our trading plan, $43 even. And you put in your profit target, down market, it's a short, is going to be your profit, $42.21. Make sure it says buy because we're short and we're looking to cover up this trade. And then you click on place orders. And then what you see is you've got a buy at $42.21 plotted on your chart. You've got a buy at $43 even plotted on your chart. Those are the two levels. And of course, if you want to change either one of those, you can just click, drag, and drop, and you will have your order move to whatever level it is that you're looking to place it at. You could also use this little tick box down here when profit objective is met. Change the stop or trailing amount. So you can have a stop loss based on your profit target plus however many cents. So let's say you want to trail a 15 cent stop and it would build that in as well. So it would change your exit order to a trailing stop. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, adrian at traderinsight.com. Hope you're having a great trading day today. Even better one on deck for tomorrow. The best trader education anywhere, only from TraderInsight.com.